peony bud round and shiny let me show you how to paint it with watercolors outline drawing is done even some petals are layered with first watercolor layer and now I'm covering it with paper towel to protect and let's start with pigments for this peony permanent rose manganese violet Senelia Red for some warmer tones Blue Violet Perline Violet for some darker area Sap green Perlin green Lemon yellow And alizarin crimson here are all pigments that I think will be need needing in this painting. Now to the mixing, the right color, adding water to palette, starting with permanent rows and adding a little bit more of permanent rows. And now manganese violet. This is first mix, which will be used for first layers, for first watery layers. Second mix is also starting with permanent rows. Adding senile year red. And lemon yellow to make it more warmer. Adding again uh, permanent rose. And now I have this warm pinky reddish tone. And now to the side, I'm adding pearl and violet for the darker mixes. Adding permanent rose. My main mixes are ready. Now we can start painting, uncovering, drawing. Starting with watery layer, using round simple synthetic brush. Water is added just enough for uh, watercolors to flow, not too much that it's not dripping off the paper. As you can see, watercolors are moving freely, but not too much of water. Adding my first mix of permanent rose and manganese violet. This, uh, this spot of uh, this bud is most exposed to light, and that means that it's a cooler tone. Here at the sides, where is the uh, falling shadow, I'm using pearl and violet and taking synthetic brush with a fine tip, I'm moving my pigment to the edges, very careful not to go over the edges. Once 
working with the tip of the brush carefully spreading color mix while the surface is still wet Now I need to let this pink area petals dry and we can mix green color for leaves. I'm wiping out a little bit of this warmer mix to get the space for my green part, green mix. Taking sap green a little bit more. bit of water adding lemon yellow a little bit more of sap green and now adding perlin green that's the darkest and now mixing a little bit into this very vibrant green mix to create this middle tone uncovering the painting so it stays safe and clean while I'm mixing colors now I can start again with adding water to area which I will be covering with color careful not to go over edges taking alizarin crimson for those beautiful reddish uh, edges which have this leaf green part and as you can see carefully adding this alizarin crimson to the edges it beautifully flows in to the middle part recreating the same texture as visible on the reference photo careful with the working with the tip of the brush so those edges are crisp and clean And with a little bit of stippling making it more to flow to the 
greenish part and now adding this green mix of sap green and lemon yellow and also I'm letting it flow to the reddish part and carefully let it mix together going around other leaf don't going over the edges careful with the edges working with the very tip of the brush looking at reference and now I'm carefully mixing those two pigments together here is better less brush strokes brush movements and getting this perlin green to the darker spots and as you can see I left white area between those and carefully carefully with the few brush strokes lightly mix them together don't over mix here leave that a little light area in between them because it is visible in the reference photo correcting edges careful with that and the first layer of this of this green petal is uh, nicely done adding a little bit of this perlin green to that middle part where is also visible in reference there's some kind of uh, darker spot adding a little bit of perlin violet to the alizarin crimson mix also to get this darker shade of this red edge carefully with stippling I'm adding while the surface is a little bit wet and the pigment flows nicely while the surface is still wet the same adding a little bit to that middle part taking perlin green darker green mix and adding more to the darker area also while the surface is still wet pigment flows really nicely creating this smoothness of applied watercolors careful with edges looking at reference comparing what are you seeing there Adding permanent rose to my palette and 
and a little bit of water and making watery washes to peony bud with a round simple synthetic brush as I can see from my reference that I need a little bit of more pink tone I'm adding this watery wash to all peony bud to all petals to get an even tone and more pinkish tone to this peony Dire direction of brush strokes is toward the center and toward the upper part of each petal after applying color I'm smoothing out with the same brush to create smoothness Now finishing touches to the stem, more intensity to this cast shadow on the stem from peony bud, which also creates this illusion that something is beneath something and overlapping and creating this cast shadow. This is a really nice spot and really creates this effect of that something is popping out from the paper from the set flat surface and adding more to the right part of the stem where is, where it is more face to shadow I'm leaving that light area just going over maybe with a light wash careful with the edges and as you can see this peony is really looking round and that's all about control over dark and shadow really loved working with this peony bud and hope you also learned something new and see you in my next videos bye bye